What they do, what it is, this is Orion, a.k.a. Brass Balls. Another deep dive tape stash episode for y'all. This uh, gem of a tape single that I got in front of you is from the late, great, legendary Tupac Shakur. Dear Mama, I thought it was only right given that Mother's Day is just around the corner. And this has to be the best Mother's Day or mother's dedicated song. I, I, none other comes to mind. I think uh, Tupac has taken the crown, not only in the hip hop genre, but in any genre, I think this is the one. I don't know, maybe there's another song out there that, that ranks just as high as uh, Dear Mama when it comes to a song dedicated to mothers. If there is, let me know, drop a comment. I would like to uh, to know, maybe there's one I'm, I'm, my memory's not uh, serving me right now with. But uh, in any case, remember to subscribe to my youtube channel orion hip-hop check out the previous episodes if you like this kind of thing if you're into it uh like share repost all of that as always i really appreciate that now this tape cassette hasn't been in the stash for too long as a matter of fact i found it the other day on ebay i would say about a month ago or so um it came in a batch of tape cassettes singles that uh that i found when i was uh digging around for you know some of these gems that i've always wanted or or want now because i got this recent craving for these type of tape cassette singles to add to the uh, massive collection of music that i have so uh anyways the program itself repeats on both sides i kind of like when tape singles do that because then you don't have to keep rewinding however it only has radio versions of these two songs and the songs are the dear mama song and old school and we're going to get into old school in a little bit because it is technically the b-side but i kind of wish this would have had instrumentals remixes could have given us especially given how Pac is such a, a work has such a work ethic when it comes to making music it could have been some exclusives they could have put in there i'm just saying now if you got the cd or you got the uh, the vinyl it did come with instrumentals and stuff so they were kind of making you uh pay for being a cheapskate and getting these tape cassette singles shame on you interscope shame on you not everybody had dub plate playing abilities at that time uh that this came out you know what i mean uh, it was kind of being phased out anyways that's some other thing now pox impact uh on the industry and with the song can't be overstated and i'm actually gonna do a, another episode I've, I've been meaning to do a follow-up episode to one of my first podcasts which was how escobar birthed machiavelli and in that podcast i go real in depth on some like conspiracy theories coincidences and some things that were not so much coincidences between Nas's. it was written and machiavelli and what sparked the beef turmoil all of that you know it's a really insightful one that i did uh, like I said, some of those things are coincidences, some of them are conspiracy theories, but some of them are rooted in facts. And I've been meaning to do a part two to that. I've also been meaning to do a video where I highlight how much of a figure Pac was at such an early age, even before going to death row, where cats were mentioning Pac in verses. There's, an ex there's mad examples I could give of a lot of artists that were mentioning Pac in their punchlines uh, because of how much of a dominant figure he was in the music industry and just in the, in the entertainment industry at that time. And not a lot of his contemporaries were getting shout outs like he was. You know, this guy was was really the guy, you know, even before he went to death row, he was already a big star. So um, now let's get into the track, Dear Mama. Production wise, it was produced by Tony Pizarro. Tony Pizarro isn't really a household name when it comes down to uh, production, but he is no slouch and he did a lot of production work for Ice T. Uh, did some production work for cocaine a lot of west coast artists and he also was the man who produced one of my favorite Pac tracks a track called high till i die that was on the sunset park soundtrack so mad talented producer um, i wonder why we didn't get a lot of uh more production uh from tony pizarro you would think 
that there would have been given the fact that he produced this hit record right here and he's a mixing engineer as well even mixed on the album uh la the dark man heist of the century which as a woo head is a pretty dope woo affiliate album so you know aside from that he's engineered for a whole slew of projects i mean i could really get in depth but if you really are curious as to his uh you know discography go to discogs you know what i mean that's how i do a lot of my research yo i'm not gonna hide how i get my facts now he sampled joe sample yeah that's the guy's name joe sample of the crusaders the crusaders most notably known for their song uh street life but joe sample i actually have this record it's got mad dope samples on it as well and he's a he's a piano player from from what i can remember and you know the song itself is called in my wildest dreams so yeah man that, that, he's got dope music to check out as well uh cool now the old school is tupac's homage to new york and this is obviously before the east west coast beef sparked off and you would think that with a song like this it would have helped quell the waters of you know tupac hating on new york so much and you know a lot of, of my new york friends new jersey friends that are real east coast uh predominant east coast listeners of hip-hop are to this day 2024 were sometimes unaware of this song it's crazy but i've met so many people that like were like oh i never knew Pac had this song you know what i mean and and it's such a east coast sounding song it was produced by uh soul shock he's a danish american producer uh produced tracks for queen latifah and even produced the title track of the me against the world album uh in which dear mama and old school are from now you know in this song he's shouting out ll de la soul he shouts out queen latifah he shouts out uh bucktown you know there's a lot of dope shit that he says big daddy kane in this track and you know i think this song got overshadowed by the beef that came uh shortly after with uh biggie and mob deep and everything and you know there's a bunch of interviews out there where Pac is trying to clarify it's not a beef with new york you know what i'm saying this isn't the east coast west coast beef but the media as a lot of us know kind of took this shit on some sensationalism and made this beef more than what it really was as as far as east coast west coast is concerned no doubt there was beef between Pac and Big E and the camps and everything but you know it is what it is man interestingly enough he shouts out ll on this two two times on this track and there was some turmoil between Pac and ll that's a whole other podcast and you could actually look into it and see some of but I, I think i'm gonna touch on that as well in uh in an episode i'm gonna do later on that's completely different than the deep dive tape stash you know Pac is just such an interesting figure and for the short time that he was made such an impact that there's so much to talk about this guy even to this day now um that's pretty much it man in a nutshell you know uh dear mama there's nothing more i can say about it you know like the the video was dope it encapsulated the song perfectly you know me against the world is hailed as one of Pac's uh greatest albums you know people are always between machiavelli all eyes on me and me against the world as to which Pac album was truly his best work uh me myself i i feel all eyes on me was 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 really fucking dope it was epic and i'm in between all eyes on me and machiavelli whereas machiavelli was a shorter album and i feel like every song is a freaking banger on it um so you know i'm in between those two but me against the world is not too far behind for me it is it is classic it's got like amazing songs on it not just these two songs that are on this uh tape cassette i mean shed so many tears is my favorite tupac song ever and you know it is what it is y'all i appreciate y'all for listening this is another deep dive tape stash say happy mother's day to your mothers don't be no slouch get them a gift you know take them out you know what i'm saying much love to all of y'all happy mother's day to all the mothers out there all the all the mamas out there really appreciate y'all peace <laughs>